What's going on guys? It's K-Dub here with another episode of Crypto Zombie. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having an awesome day today as Bitcoin continues to consolidate sideways. We have seen lots of altcoins taking advantage of this price movement. Today we are seeing some of the altcoins in the mild green today, some of them doing very well. Maker doing absolutely amazing. However, today is the day, my friends. We have absolutely reached the end of the apex of this move for Bitcoin. And while everybody was sitting there saying, hey, when is the next Bitcoin move about to happen? Well, we actually printed phase one of our double golden cross over on the Bitcoin CME futures. This is very bullish for the price of Bitcoin. However, in the past, we have seen negative price action on the day of the golden cross. Lots of uh, savvy investors and traders try to fake out other traders, right? Well, we're going to talk about that today. I'm going to talk about phase one, phase two. We also need to discuss the fact that institutions are actually getting very interested in Bitcoin. Data shows that about one third of institutions do in fact have exposure to Bitcoin products. And of course, the big, massive breaking news of the day, we have a Bitcoin product being listed on the German stock exchange. I want to talk about the significance of this and what it means for crypto. And I think a good place to end today's video on is really the ultimate reason for Bitcoin being created in the first place. Satoshi Nakamoto's vision for a censorship resistant currency that has no third party intermediaries that cannot be confiscated by governments and you truly own it. That is verified by the mathematics of the protocol. And I do want to sort of end on this video of Black Lives Matter and point number one made by the character is, you know, basically Bitcoin, as well as, you know, voting and volunteering. But we're going to get into all that today. This video clip is at the end. Of course, we're going to talk about Bitcoin price, lots of price action expected in the next few days. And that sounds basically like the summary of today's video. So stick around. We're going to keep it super quick, super fast. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider it hopping into the charts right now. Bitcoin at the end of this consolidation. You can see we've been putting it in a nice uptrend for quite some time. Nice higher lows. This is showing lots of support from the bulls. However, we have reached the end of this move. So lots of people saying, K-Dub, you've been talking about a big move. When's it happening? Well, guys, if it doesn't happen today, then... Might as well just throw the TA out the window because I have no idea because Bitcoin is literally at the very end of this apex. We have put in two doji candles back to back showing Bitcoin price is just absolutely squeezed. It's coiled up. It's like a spring ready to explode. You could see right here we did in fact have phase one of the golden cross. We had the 50 moving above the 100 and the 200. Phase two would be when the blue line moves above the uh, sort of pink line, which is the 200. And that would be the double golden cross that I spoke about in my video about a week ago. Check it out if you haven't. Now we have seen some fake outs on these golden crosses in the past where on the day Bitcoin decides, hey, I'm just going to take a big dump because everybody's bullish, right? But long term, we've always seen generally these uh, golden crosses to be very bullish for Bitcoin price. Now we are at the end of this. What are What is the move that we're expecting? Okay. Well, as I said, guys, we're basically sandwiched between between these two major areas. If Bitcoin does have a breakout to the upside, I do envision us having a little bit of resistance at around the $10,300 level with the next potential resistance all the way up at around $10,700. So basically, if we had a breakout right here, you could see Bitcoin price come all the way up here, maybe touch the, uh, like I said, $10,300 level, pull back, and then maybe head all the way up to the $10,800 level. If we do have a breakout to the downside, you might see Bitcoin sort of retest the $9,300 level, uh, try to retest the top of this uh, resistance again before retesting lower lows. I don't see Bitcoin going lower than $9,000 in the short term. However, what do I know, guys? I'm just a guy on the internet. Anything could happen. However, even if we were to go to $9,000, we still would be putting in a higher low on the macro trend. And once again, a lot does depend on what is going on with the stocks today, which even though they are currently sitting lower than yesterday's close, they have so far opened positive. So 
Just want to point that out moving forward. Now, we have had Donald Trump come out. He was not very uh, positively vocal about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies. He said that they were basically based on thin air. However, data proves that Wall Street is quite interested in Bitcoin. Grayscale saw 88% of its investments come from institutional investors in the first quarter of 2020 alone. Fidelity Investments, you might be familiar with them, they do have $2.46 trillion in assets under management found in a recent survey that about one third of investments of the US and Europe are invested in cryptocurrencies and also following the lead of Paul Tudor Jones, the billionaire investor that said he allocated 2% of his portfolio into cryptocurrencies. We have now seen a lot of institutions beginning to hedge in to Bitcoin, realizing that it is a store of value. I also want to point out that data from Santiment shows that the number of addresses holding more than 100 Bitcoin has been on the rise over the past five days. And you can see that there are 43 new addresses that have joined the 100 Bitcoin club. Now, 100 Bitcoin is a lot of Bitcoin, guys. I don't know about you, but um, yeah, so that is basically some positive news. And like Joseph Todaro said, he's managing partner over at Block Town Cap. Capital, when the retail money really starts flowing back into crypto, I wouldn't be surprised to see a 10 trillion dollar market top market cap. Now, keep in mind, if we were to divide that by the amount of Bitcoin today, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's over five hundred thousand dollars per coin. And, you know, when is the next level of FOMO going to happen? Well, probably most likely when Bitcoin breaks 20K again. I think that's when you're going to see it go absolutely bonkers. But big news, we have London-based ETC Group listing the first crypto exchange traded product on Germany's etc. digital stock exchange. So now you have traders in the UK, Italy, and Austria able to deal in shares of the new product. So the Bitcoin traded crypto, and now it's, it's actually referred to as the BTCE, it's an exchange traded product. So it's not a true ETF, it's an ETP. However, it's gonna launch, launch on the Deutsche Bourse, et cetera, after it receives approval from Germany financial regulators. It's gonna track the price of Bitcoin, but here is the kicker. And this is what gets me the most excited. It is going to be physically backed by Bitcoin. So this isn't like cash settled, this isn't futures. This means that they are gonna actually have to hold Bitcoin physically in custody in the wallets, and this is going to create that absolute demand for Bitcoin, right? When you're just basically just like betting on the price of it with cash, that doesn't really help Bitcoin itself, but when you actually have that physical demand for Bitcoin, that is what really is gonna make the difference, right? Also, it says that it's gonna be stored by custodian BitGo, and the CEO said, with BTCE, we're transporting Bitcoin into the fold of mainstream regulated financial markets where investors get the benefits of trading and owning Bitcoin through a regulated security while having the optionality of redeeming for physical Bitcoin if they choose. So that's basically the key takeaway point of that news today. Also interesting, we have Bitfury, a crypto mining and blockchain development firm planning to launch a Bitcoin mining fund, and this is in Japan. This is going to happen next month. They basically say that the offering is gonna be the first crypto mining fund in Japan. It's gonna initially cater to institutional investors like family offices, etc., before eventually expanding to retail clients. So think about that, having the opportunity to actually be involved in a Bitcoin mining fund. How cool is that? So the landscape is definitely growing, guys. Also, this is just really just a really quick tidbit of cool news. So basically, a practice test for China's college uh, entrance exams this year featured a question about Bitcoin mining. Kind of weird considering that China really doesn't have the friendliest stance on Bitcoin. They say the question on economic geography asked students why Bitcoin miners would cluster in the province of Sichuan. So I think that's kind of cool. China, not very Bitcoin friendly, had a question on their college entrance exam about Bitcoin mining. Kind of cool. Just a little bit of tidbit before we continue on. Also, big news for uh, Bitcoin adoption in the digital currency section. We have Bitcoin and Black America trending as the number two uh, book, which is pretty cool. This is from Isaiah Jackson. And I'm not going to lie. I actually went out and bought a copy myself. So um, if you guys haven't checked this out, you can get it Kindle. Uh, 
unlimited for zero dollars or it's 27 dollars paperback but check it out if you're interested but sort of on that same topic basically from the character over here he made a speech and he was talking about three ways that black lives matter can move forward points two and three being volunteering and voting but i want to play what he said was point one and if you can't guess already yes it was bitcoin i was very uh very intrigued by this very awesome to see bitcoin sort of making its rounds i mean like that really is the old ultimate goal is to own your own money, to not have your, you know, monetary policy basically controlled by the elites, you know, bailing out their friends in the stock markets, right? And that is personally why I still have been drawn to Bitcoin so long, despite the price action, whether Bitcoin price goes up or goes down. I really think fundamentally what Bitcoin is as the hardest asset on planet Earth not only gives you back that freedom, but Let's be honest, guys. It's also probably going to be really great for price action moving forward. But I just want to uh, play this clip super quick. And then I do have one more piece of news for you moving forward. Energy out here. You know, my condolences to all the families who lost their loved ones. And I got some ideas on how we all move forward. I got three points I'd like to present to y'all. These are my macro ideas. These aren't, these aren't full solutions. We're going to need people for the micro ideas to get the finer details. My first solution, I wanna present an alternative financial solution to everyone today. The elites of this country and globally use the financial system to oppress us. They are killing us with our own money. There is a new financial system that I wanna to present to you that's open to everyone. All you need is a phone to start using it. I want everyone to please start learning about a new financial system. This system is called Bitcoin. It was created for this very purpose. So the elites do not have control of the financial system anymore. With Bitcoin, they cannot turn on a printing press and give our dollars to their friends for bailing them out because they weren't being responsible. You cannot bail people out. The elites cannot bail out their friends anymore. Please learn about this system. This system is called Bitcoin. It was created for this very purpose. A great resource is a man named Andres Antonopoulos. You can look him up on YouTube. Please learn and support this system. You don't have to put all your money into it. Like my brother said earlier, you can put weekly $5, but we will no longer let the elites kill us with our own money. That is absurd. <laughs> So a few key takeaways from this, by the way, shout out to Andreas Antonopoulos. Definitely check him out if you haven't. Also, I do want to just mention that, yes, dollar cost averaging actually is an amazing strategy for Bitcoin. In fact, it's proven to be a very profitable strategy for Bitcoin. You do not have to sell the house and go all in. You could buy a little bit of Bitcoin each week. So definitely shout out to the character for that. And also ending on the bigger picture, the greatest aspect I believe about Bitcoin is that it truly is borderless. It it doesn't care about your race, your gender, your sexual orientation. It doesn't care if you're an alien, a robot, or a machine. Bitcoin truly is the people's money. And yeah, I definitely think this is awesome to see Bitcoin sort of being associated in more of these movements. So drop your comments below. Let me know what you think about that. And I do want to end on one more bit of uh, sort of Bitcoin news. Actually, this is more of blockchain news. But the Central Bank of Saudi Arabia successfully has transferred funds via blockchain technology. So you have the Saudi Arabian Monetary Authority or SAMA has used blockchain technology as part of a strategy to enhance the financial sector and its capabilities to continue its role in providing credit facilities. Now, while this may not be a direct win for Bitcoin, I do believe that as people start to embrace blockchain technology and they realize the advantages of it, I do think that inevitably leads you down the rabbit hole of Bitcoin. So that being said, guys, you know what we're expecting. Bitcoin is at the end of the apex. I don't need to remind you guys over and over. Let me know what you think about that below. Tried to keep today's video a little bit shorter than usual. Hope you enjoy your hump day and that is it for me today. If you're not subscribed, definitely consider it. You guys rock. If you haven't joined my free Telegram group, I do have a link above and below. Check that out. It's also on the main page. You know what to do. Thanks for stopping by. Freaking love you guys. My name is K-Dub. This is Crypto Zombie. Until next time, stay crypto. And of course, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.